The Battle of Mokay Farm, also known as the Fighting for Mokay Farm was part of the Battle of the Somme and began during the Battle of Pozières. The fighting began on 23 July with attacks by the British Reserve Army. The farm was captured by the 3rd Canadian Division of the Canadian Corps on 16 September. The farm was lost to a German counter-attack, before being recaptured on 26 September during an attack by the 11th Division during the Battle of Thiepel Ridge. No. 16 Section of the 6th Battalion East Yorkshire smoked out the last German defenders. Chapter 1, Background Chapter 1 Section 1, 1916 Mokay Farm was to the right of the modern D-73 Pozier Thiepel Road, south of Grincou and to the southwest of Cousillet, about 1.1 miles northwest of the high ground near Pozier. Following the fighting that had occurred around the village earlier in the year, a decision was made by the British to gain control of the ridge beyond the village to create a gap in the German lines, behind the salient that had developed around the German-held fortress of Thiepel. By capturing Mokay Farm, the British hoped that it would destabilize the German position and enable subsequent gains. Chapter 2 – Battle Chapter 2 – Section 1 the 10th August to the 3rd September. During the night of the 10th of August, parties of the 4th Australian Division of the Ianzac Corps attacked towards the farm and managed to establish advanced posts in the valley south of the farm and to the east. Attacks were then made from a foothold in Fabek Grabin to the northeast and to deepen the salient near the farm. By the 22nd of August, the 2nd Australian Division had made several more attempts on the farm and realized that the main defensive position was underground, where the Germans had excavated the cellars to create linked dugouts. On 3 September, the 4th Australian Division attacked again with the 13th Brigade and captured much of the surface remains of the farm and trenches nearby, with hand-to-hand -hand fighting in the ruins and underground. German counterattacks repulsed the Australians except from a small part of Fabek Grabin, the fighting costing the Australians 2,049 casualties. Chapter 2 Section 2, 16-26 September During the battle, the divisions of Ianzac Corps advanced northwest along Pozier Ridge, towards Mokay Farm, with British divisions supporting on the left. The approaches to the farm were watched by German artillery observers, who directed artillery fire on the attackers from three sides of the salient that had developed in the lines. Many casualties were caused to the attackers as they approached the farm. In August and into September, the Australians were repulsed three times. The Canadian Corps relieved the Ianzac Corps on the 5th of September. The Canadians captured part of the farm on the 16th of September and were then repulsed by a counterattack. By the 25th of September, further attacks had captured part of the farm on the surface, but the Germans still held the cellars, dugouts, and tunnels beneath. The farm was captured on the 26th of September by the 34th Brigade of the 11th Division in the general attack of the Battle of Thiepel Ridge. The 9th Lancashire Fusiliers bombed the exits of the underground positions and also managed to reach the second objective, at the west end of Zolan Trench, where German machine gun nests had held up previous attacks. The 6th East Yorkshire overwhelmed the last defenders with smoke grenades and took 56 prisoners. Chapter 3 Aftermath Chapter 3 Section 1 Casualties in the fighting around Pozier and Mokay Farm, the Ianzac Corps suffered circa 6,300 casualties. During its second period on the Somme, the 1st Australian Division suffered 2,654 casualties, having already suffered 5,278 in August. The 2nd Australian Division incurred 6,846 casualties from 25 July to 7 August and another 1,267 from 23 to 29 August. From 29 July to 16 August the 4th Australian Division suffered 4,761 casualties and another 2,487 from 27 August to 4 September. Chapter 4 Gallery. 